Students from kindergarten through fifth grade at Wilson Elementary on Fort Benning use project-based learning and the STEM education model to create an arcade from biodegradable, recyclable materials. The students tested what they've learned from design strategies in the Kane's Arcade documentary and the Imagination Foundation, the nonprofit form to advance creativity and entrepreneurship. This project, spearheaded by their science, technology, engineering, and math teacher, Jenna Moore, gave them opportunities to combine skills learned in class and expand on ideas promoted by the success of the original idea from Kane Monroy. Project-based learning um, usually starts with a driving question. Um, the students have to work collaboratively with groups to create an arcade game that um, encompasses different types of standards and force of motion. Kane's arcade was a catalyst for the research methodology used to solve engineering and math questions while incorporating physical challenges and recyclables in the project. The students were responsible for gathering materials and conceptualizing the designs and challenges associated with the various games. Our teacher asked us what our favorite game was, and my friend Hayden over there said it was darts. We used balloons, cardboard boxes, we used some sticks, and some thumbtacks. A few simple materials and some attentive students turned an elementary school cafeteria into a playground of learning and fun. The Imagination Foundation has grown and inspired the Cardboard Challenge, raising nearly a quarter of a million dollars in over 270 events across 41 countries. Courtney Woody, Fort Benning, Georgia.